Well, here we are at Devon County Show, and it's a great pleasure to meet up with Ruth. And uh, Ruth is in charge of the honey, the honey section here. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning. How are you? Am I fine? Thank you. How are you? Yes, you all right? very well. Good. Very You're well. very welcome to be here today. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Thank That's you. great. Ruth, just explain to the viewers a little bit about what happens in Devon and the society reference the honey. Okay. Well, this marquee is run by the Devon Beekeepers Association. Right. And there are 11 branches of us in Devon. Is it really? Yes. We are the second largest contingent of beekeepers in a county just behind Yorkshire. So some of our branches are bigger than other counties' entire Good group. Evening. Yes, so, so we have quite a voice. Yes, yes. And uh, this is our show piece for the year. And in line with Devon County Show Agricultural Policy, yes. um, which is to compete and demonstrate what is excellent in agriculture in Devon, right. uh, we have a competitive element too. Yes. And so we're standing beside the wax, mead, uh, candles and food stand and just beyond there is the jar, uh, honey jars. Yeah, the honey jars, of which yes. there, are, uh, there are quite a few. Of, uh, yes, and, and I will explain to you the different yeah, colours and so on in a moment. The colours are fascinating, yes, aren't yes, they? Yes. Well, you'll notice here that these wax bars yes. uh, are different colours. Yes, they are. And, and and just explain a little bit about how, how the colours are, uh, are okay. up here. Well, it very much depends how old the wax is, oh, right. how clean it is, yes. in other words, how skilled the person is who has prepared the wax, yes. um, and sometimes what the bees have been foraging on, oh, um, yeah. uh, as to what will colour the wax in the hive. Yes. Um, so uh, there obviously is um, a sort of an optimum colour that you would look for, yes. um, but I'm not going to tell you what that is because it is up to the judges. That's down to the judges. It's up to the judges. Exactly. Um, the meads, we've got um, dry mead and sweet mead. And mead you, Nice. Mead is a it's a cultivated taste, I think. It's not to everybody's taste. Not to everybody's taste. But it is a delicious drink and the, the judges will taste every one. Oh right. Uh, which they so they tend to leave it to the end. Not too, not too, <laughs> not too early. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it does need to be in the bottle probably at least two years before it is fit for um, oh, judging. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, so, um, looking at the wax, of course, this particular display, which is oh, outstanding. This, oh, this is absolutely outstanding. Yes, um, uh, the lady, the lady has has managed to put molten wax over the leaves that she has collected in the autumn, stunning, and then it? managed to get get it off in one piece. So yeah. it is exceptionally good. Yeah. But you will see the best of the best on this show bench because people are very skilled in, in Devon, beekeepers, and uh, they exhibit at the National. Do they really? Yes, they do. And we have national judges oh, here today. The we have um, the best judges in the country. Fantastic. So, yes. Now, come on then. Yes. Okay, where Explain else would you like to see? Explain to me about the honey. Okay, the honey. Um, the well, Ruth, I have to say that the difference in colour is amazing, isn't it? Yes, and, and it always flummoxes people because yes, they, they don't realise why it's different colours. And the reason is that the flowers give off different coloured nectars and different coloured pollens. Yes. And they colour the end product, the honey. Yeah. Um, and so, also because all honey crystallises at some point in its life. Right. Um, so, it is not that it's gone off if it's crystallised. Honey doesn't go off because it has very good keeping properties. Right. Um, but depending on which flower the bee has been concentrating on will depend on how quickly it crystallises. So oilseed rape crystallises very quickly, very rapidly, whereas yeah. other, um, I, uh, other flowers, their nectar takes ages to crystallise and so you get these lovely clear runny honey jars. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, the, the dark one is fascinating. And those, I think, are heather honey, but I'm is not it? sure. Yes, um, I can't remember what the schedule said, so although I staged them all yesterday, the brain is in it, overdrive. <laughs> well, well, Ruth, yes. It's been an absolute pleasure, and thank you very much indeed for spending time with us, explaining all the product. Um, for, the, for the people that come to the show, the, the, the honey tent is an absolute must. Well, I think so, but then of course you're preaching to the converted. One thing I would like to just mention to you is that of the 11 branches, yes. six of them are exhibiting for the Stevenson Trophy, which was uh, donated by a long-standing old beekeeper. Oh, right. yes. And they, their overall um, brief was just something educational, innovative, interesting, exciting, yes. appealing to children. They
they could choose the topic something to do with beekeeping. So as you wander around, you will see, for example, this one is from Holesworthy, oh, yeah. honeybees in human history. And they have gone back to the dawn of time and brought us up to the present day. Oh, fabulous. This one is totally different. Yes, this is this is okay. This is, this is, this is the uh, Tibetans, yes, um, and, the, and the other branches that exhibit. So they are um, competing for a, a big trophy and a financial prize for their branch. That's absolutely fine. So, do you know we just couldn't do it without the branches? Uh, no, so, no, no, yes, no, yes. So, well, thank you very much indeed, for and it's an absolute pleasure meeting. I'm sure you we'll, we'll meet in, in the not. Well, I sincerely hope so, and I, I really hope you've got the time to just dwell a little bit and look at the children's exhibits. Yeah, the and children's so exhibits, fabulous. Theirs was a bee on a stick. <laughs> thank you very much for that. You're more than day. welcome. Thank you very Have much a great day.